Hello fellow simmers and welcome to my next Train Sim World 2 video. This is Samuel Beeman speaking of BLS and today we're going to be checking out the Class 47 that comes with the Northern Trans Pennine route. So recently the Train Sim World 2 Heritage Collection or well preserved collection as they say has been updated and they have added the Great Western Express route and Northern Trans Pennine routes to the preserved collection to be compatible with Train Sim World 2. And the interesting thing about this is that it has actually been updated in some shape or fashion. The, both the Class 47 and the Class 166 has had sound upgrades and today we're going to be listening to the Class 47's sound upgrades on the Northern Trans Pennine route. So without further ado let's get into this and continue our video. So we're going to be starting from a, obviously some sort of location. Uh, so why don't we go from Manchester Victoria, uh, Manchester Victoria to Leeds on at ten forty eight in our class forty seven. So this will be interesting to show you guys this because they have updated the sounds quite dramatically, and it's great to see. Okay, so here we are, Manchester Victoria to Leeds at ten forty eight. Drive an eastbound locomotive hauled Trans Pennine service, calling at principal stations only. We're using the class forty seven four blue. And um, yeah, we're not going to do the full length run, but we're just going to do a probably about a half an hour video or something. Just just showing off, you know, the Class 47 sounds, the new sounds that are in the game. So we're going to begin this and continue. So first of all, we've got to unlock our doors. So we're unlocking the left side, I believe. Or is it the right side? Looks as if it's the right side, so I've got that wrong. And that never happened, unlock the right side, and here we go. So, let's take a look outside. So this is uh, 47471. And as you can hear, we've got some really nice sounds, like really nice new sounds actually, not too bad. We've got a nice sort of souls of beat there going, which sounds very addictive. I believe these sounds, well, Judging by how it sounds, it's recorded from the Scott Rail one from the East Lanks Railway. I can't remember the number of it, but it's not Lady Diana Spencer, it's the other one. Um, so, you know, whether that is true or not, I don't know, but it sounds like they, that, that, that it was recorded from that loco. Now, the only downside and only flaw about these new sounds um, that I've picked up on is that they've used the same start-up and shutdown procedure. Uh, to the original sound set. So basically, um, it, it has a sort of more quieter start-up and it doesn't quite link very well with the with the new sounds because they've used the original start-up and shutdown. It's obviously not the same loco, so it does sound a bit odd. Uh, that is the only criticism I do have for the new sounds at the minute. And also, they are pretty damn loud as well, which can be good, but can also be seen as reasonably bad considering the ch sound changes between locomotives. Right, so I'm going to get into our driver's seat, set up our cab, master key needs to be turned to on, we need to turn our AWS on. Or not. Oh, right, okay, so. There we go. Let's turn that on, put it into forward, mark our lights on and release our brakes. We must lock our doors. I'm going to wind the window down so we can hear the sounds better. Instrument lights on. Okay, so off we go. So as you can see and hear, actually, 
that there is a major improvement already on the sounds compared to the previous ones that we had which is nice to hear um, we do have a we do still have a slight issue with the horn here um, because obviously you know how the 47s have that sort of spoon in horn you know that well um, basically you, you do hear that but it's only when locomotive is halted or below five miles per hour for some reason and obviously as we're now above five mile an hour all we get is this as you can hear there's no spoon which is odd Beautiful. Listen to that guys, listen to that, certainly a major improvement to the previous sounds that we had, major improvement, actually sounds like a 47 now, not just turbo. Decent sound cell on a 47. Well, obviously, as we know, it, it, the 47s we do lack in a nice sound set for class 47s in any train simulator game, to be honest. And I think, you know, there does, there, there does need to be a bit more of love towards these locos, you know what I mean, in train sim, because a lot of the sound sets that we've had on 47s in the past have been shockingly bad. And it's just great that we've got a semi-decent sound set on this. I wouldn't say it's 100% perfect, but it's certainly a lot better than most sound sets within the train simulator franchise for a 47. And it's certainly a major improvement to the default sounds that we had before in Trains in World. And I think uh, DTG have upped their game with this. Certainly a lot more realistic sound set for a 47 in the game. And it's the same with the 166 actually, they've done a good job on that. Oh, I will um, take a look at that at some point in another video, but now we're looking at this In the means of the route, it's basically the same as um, what it was before in Train Sim World, the first one. There's not really been many differences. Uh, obviously, the lighting's better. Uh, performance on the route is still a bit hit and miss. I wouldn't say that this this route has had the best performance out of all the routes in Train Sim World because it, it did have 
and it still does have slight frame rate spikes in areas of the route. It doesn't run as smoothly as other routes within the game. But it's always been like that. Uh, I don't know whether that's due to the fact that it is quite a large route and there's lots, there's lots here. I don't know, but it's one of those things, isn't it? I suppose the question that you guys have asking, well, or probably asking right now while watching this video is, have these sounds been replicated over to the West Somerset Railway Class 47 that comes the West Somerset route? The answer is no. Sadly, and it is, it is a shame, we still have the hideous default sounds on the West Somerset 47. We don't have these new sounds on there. Um, it is a bit of a shame. I think well, obviously, in my opinion, it would be nice to have these sounds over to it. The engine sounds especially. Maybe not the horn, because the horn is okay. Not too bad. But it would be nice to have these upgraded sounds to the West Somerset one as well. Just one of those things, you know. But, oh well. Is what it is. find this route though to be quite exciting. I think it is certainly one of my favourites out of the Train Sim World franchise. Um, I do think though that it would be nice to see the freight pack come into it. Uh, they haven't yet released that so we haven't got Class 40 or the freight stuff yet. So whether that's coming in another preserved collection I don't know. I imagine it probably will do. But yeah, so at the moment we don't have the Class 40 and the freight stock or the OA that comes with the freight pack. That'll probably be seen later on sometime. But I mean, listen to it. I mean, it's just massive improvement, it really is. You've got that lovely grunt of the 47 captured there, well, not just turbo, because that's all it was was before. You sort of had that sort of gruntiness about it, but then it just went into just turbo and nothing else, and that was, you know, a bit of a pain in the ass. It's just sort of, you know, the, the, the full thrash on the Northern Trans Pennine was a complete recycled of from the West Somerset one. The lower notches were okay, but then when it kicked into full thrash, it was just turbo, just like the West Somerset one. But it's nice to have that grunt of a 47 now captured, and I think they've done a great, great job in that sense. to that beat. It's such a nice beat. It's, it's a good sound. I like it. 
Hang on a minute, did I just see... I did, didn't I? Hang on a minute. There's traffic. There is traffic on the roads. There's traffic on the roads, guys. Now, I don't think, I'm pretty certain that there wasn't any traffic on the roads in the previous release of this route in Train Sim World 1. I'm pretty, pretty certain there wasn't any traffic at all. Because traffic was a new thing that was added in um, the Bakerloo line. Well, from what I saw, anyway. So maybe they've gone and put traffic on most routes now, but that's great to see. It doesn't look so dead anymore, you know? Fantastic. Points for driving over the speed limit, it's like new, isn't it? Always used to catch me out that 15 limits, so it's lucky that we've seen that now. But I think I've ah oh, yeah, of course. Uh, I obviously I'm not used to driving this, uh, the, so I've literally come to a complete standstill now. There is a slight glitch though sometimes where the, the brake sound just hisses. I've noticed that on here as well where it just all of a sudden you get that annoying brake hiss sound. See it's doing it again. It keeps doing that. I think that is a slight glitch with it. Oh, I've got my stop markers on. Ugh. It's typical isn't it. See it's doing it again. It keeps doing it. Unless you keep it in the release position. There is a slight bug bearer with it. And again, just kicks in. That that is the only glitch with it, is you get that brake hiss that just doesn't stop. But it's quite annoying actually. But we're going to get off here and do our collectibles and then we're going to end this video, I think. Okay. Oh, 
listen to that. All right. Okay. So collectibles. place our route maps down as you can see and it's got quite a nice texture there it looks a bit worn there I quite like that be for my thumbnail oh this is new I don't I don't I don't think you could go through here before. Oh, I've got underpass, that's cool. Not sure if there's much more down here collectible wise, but sounds like a fan's on somewhere, maybe it's on the low code. Is there anything we need to fix, like fence panels or anything, or trees on the line or something? Stally Bridge. Yeah, we'll give up control of that. Off goes to 47. the underparts. There's got to be something down here collectible wise isn't there? Maybe not. Okay. Okay then guys, so this has been my look at the Class 47 for Train Sim World 2 with the upgraded sound set. Do hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe for more content and obviously I'll do some more videos within this series. Uh, what do I think of the 47 sounds? Yeah I think they're, they're, they've improved certainly a lot more than what they were originally. I do think there is obviously it's 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 not it's not like I wouldn't say it's it's as good as it could be but it's certainly a lot better and it's it's nice to hear another sound set of a 47 in train sim because that is something we really do need is a decent sound set for 47s in train simulator because that's something we don't really have we have the Armstrong powerhouse sounds which which go to the Kiju default 47s within Train Sim 2021, which are good, but that could use, even that could use an update now, you know what I mean? There is certainly a lack of, of 47 content in Train Simulator in general, in all the Train Simulator platforms. Uh, so, yeah, although lately we have released a, a new and okay sound set for 47 for trains. And I think um, the Microsoft Train Simulator 47s weren't actually that bad at all. But to modern day stuff now, 47s are lacking. 
but yeah, but it's nice to see that they've uh, that that DTG have gone to change changing these forty seven sounds because they were needed to be changed, and there was you know they're certainly a lot better and a lot more enjoyable. But anyway, so I think it's good. I think they've done a good job on revamping the forty seven sounds. Obviously, apart from the start-up sequence and shutdown, which is still sort of default and they don't really fit in correctly, but other than that, the actual engine sounds and run sounds are actually okay. So again, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Samuel Beeman of BLS, and goodbye for now. I'll see you in the next video.